Oh my god. It is September 1st. That's crazy. I legit start school in one week. What? Hi, Becky. What? When do you guys start? Or maybe you're already in school. Well, either way, this is going to be a new video. I mean, I can't move my right wrist too much. So, also, today, and if you hear anything, it's just my cousin crinkling up Cheeto Jet. A Cheeto bar thing. No bar. Bar. I can't speak English today. So yeah, this video is to, one, say that I cannot be believe it is already September 1st. Number two, if you hear anything, it's my brother's watching Toy Story. Number three, just to let you know that I cannot speak English today. And number four, I sprained my thumb. Yeah. But anyway, on to the video. So today, keep the thing I can't move this hand until I go to move it and it hurts. So let's try to get through it, shall we? It's going to be fun. So today is going to be back to school beauty hacks and products that you guys should have. That you girls, guys, whatever, anyone who wears makeup or any just beauty in general tips that you should have and that I use every day when school starts. Well, not every day, you know. And hopefully this will help you. So yeah, let's get on to skincare first. This is legit magic in a bottle. This is just going to stay down. It is the Neutrogena Skin Polishing Acne Cleanser. And it is a salicylic acid acne treatment. Now, this works on my skin. I do not know how it will work on yours. It is a 3-in-1 product. It comes with two lotions, which I will show in a minute, and I'll tell you how I use it and so on. So yeah, this is just a wash. And it says all the ingredients on it. And so on. And basically, you just wash your skin with hot water to open up your pores. 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 Put a little bit of this on. And, um, yeah, you're good to go. And then you wash it off with cold water to close your pores. And yeah. And this really helps my skin. Um, I have combination skin. And this is just magic. Um, my sister has used this. She loves it. It like literally takes away your acne in a really cool, good, kind of scary way. Um, this was actually originally my cousin's, but she actually forgot she had another one of these. So she bought like another extra stuff for nothing and gave it to me. So clearly it's been working for her. And this is just magic. So yeah, that's one of the washes I have. And these are the two lotions it comes with. This is the oil-free lotion, and you can put it on anytime before you go outside. Um, I do it, like, before I have color guard practice. And this is their acne control lotion. I put this on before I go to bed, and if I'm starting to break out, like, I have some pimples around my nose. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, I will mix these two together, put on my face before I go to bed, and it's fine. You do not have to wash these off. They're just lotions. Um, they're really good, uh, not all the time, but sometimes they can kind of feel like the plastic surgery thing, and you can really feel it tightening up, but it feels good in a weird way. So, yeah, that works. I like it, though. Then we have the St. Ives product. Translation for this, and then we have the St. Ives product. This is their blemish control apricot scrub. I love it. One thing to know about apricots, though, they are a very, very powerful cleanser, so you should only use this, like, once a week, no matter what your skin type is, really. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't know 100% of things, because I'm not a dermatologist, I do not work in skincare, I'm not an esthetician, any of that, but I do know from watching other videos and doing research that they can actually make little microscopic cuts on your skin, so... You do not want to use this more than even once a day. That, I personally think, would be too much. And I love it. This is a 10-ounce, I believe, thing that I got for $5 at face value. And it's absolutely amazing. And I use the tip on top of this to trace my circles. And it smells so good. It smells like a facial salon. That makes sense. And this is my holy grail. It is um, Pond's Dry Skin Rich Hydrating Facial Moisturizer, and 
I love this stuff, and it actually worked even for my friend Michaela because since Color Guard Camp, I have gotten really bad sunburns to the point where it's been like dry and raw, and I've got it on my ears. I got it terribly on my forehead. It was a disaster. It hurt, and when I put aloe vera on it, it burned. So I had like pat down with a napkin, even then, it like it was terrible. Then my mom got me this, and it really worked. I'm not even kidding. I'm not sponsored by anyone, clearly. But, um, this really does help. According to my mom, this has been a company that's been around for a really long time. And, you know, my friend Michaela, because she had, like, a terrible, like, rash, uh, sunburny thing on her neck. And this helped her. So, this is really great, you guys. Um, it just looks like this. It's in a little thing like this. Even though this hurts, so I need to use my right hand for some things. And yeah, now on to the nighttime facializers. Facializers. Told you it can't speak. Clean and Clear is the product. It is my absolute favorite. Oh, like, free filter just from showing you the tube. Like, look, it turns it like you know. That's cool. Anyway, this is the Clean and Clear Night Relaxing Deep Cleaning Face Wash. Oil free. It winds you down, it washes away any buildup, and it really does. And this is just perfect. I personally love Clean and Clear. This is just a little bottle of it, and you really only need like a little bit. Just massage into your face, your gorgeous little face. This really hurts, but I'm doing it for YouTube. <laughs> and it really just, it's awesome. It's awesome. Boom. Now this is not the Paris Amour body lotion, even though it was at one time. It is actually a dry shampoo. If you want, I can make a video, a DIY video on how I made it. What you do is you just section off your hair and you put a little in and it really, really works. Again, I can show you guys how to make this. If you want a video on it, just leave me a thing down in the comments down below. And um, this is great for if you if those nights where you had to study and you had to take off a shower and you weren't able to get one in. This, just sprinkle a little bit in your hair and you're good to go. Obviously, don't use it all the time. You really should be taking showers, but you know what I mean. It's a pretty good lifesaver. So you should have a dry shampoo with you. Lotions, lotions, beautiful lotions. So, as we all know, lotions are great for your body. Or not your body, but it really helps moisturize. And so I'm going to go with some of my favorites. This is my Rose Scented Lush Pure uh, uh, body Moisturizing Body Lotion in Rose. And uh, if you ever saw a Graveyard girl, girl, she did a video of the Weird Potato Chip Challenge, like the first one she did. And she was saying how she wishes there was like smell a vision that we could smell what it smells like. I wish that was ha happening right now. Because it smells so good. I don't use this all the time, but sometimes I get out of the shower. And it really gives you like a mature kind of scent. But I love it. And it's really just great. And then I have my Raymond Waits Orange Clove Cream. This is great. It smells great. It's great for your, your hands. It's a hand cream. And what makes it even be better is it works for a cuticle treatment. I'll make a video on that. And speaking of that, another one that I have of it is in apple sugar hand cream and again smell vision it better exist because this is the smell so great it looks so pretty and it really just reminds me of the fall season it honestly smells just amaze balls it's just it's great and it's just again great for the fall season great for back to school and they're pretty small or well, at least the two I just showed you so they can kind of fit in your book bag and it'll be easy to carry on school and speaking of scents, this really is my absolute favorite, the Paris Amour Fine Fragrance Mist from Bath & Body Works. This is so good. It smells great. Again, I wish you guys could smell it. And you just need a pump on your wrist, behind the ear, maybe once by like this part of your neck, and you're good. That's really all you need. And they do, I think they have smaller bottles of this, that you can just, this really hurts my right hand, but as I said, I really need to use it. Yeah, that one really hurt. I can't move my wrist too much, guys. Um, but, um, this is just great. This really is my favorite scent. I really don't like any others. Well, I do, but not that much. And also, it's great because you don't get a crush like that hot guy in front of class. <laughs> I, I don't know what's happening in my life. Oils, oils, oils. I love oils. Argan oil is my favorite. I use it on my cuticles before I go to bed. I can make my night care routine if you guys want. Also comment that down below. It's great for your hair. They come in a good little tube like this. 
I use this and I think it's pronounced Jehovah oil or Hojova oil or something like that. And I mix the two together and I put on my eyelashes and my eyebrows. It helps it grow. This I love on my hair. It helps with um, flakiness of the scalp. And this keratin oil is the bomb for me because my hair does not like to obey anyone or anything. So this is just great. This is amazing balls for me. You should have a lip moisturizer. This one is one of my favorites. It's a chapstick and chocolate milkshake. It really works and it tastes so good. <laughs> then also, this absolute love is the Vaseline Lip Therapy with rosy lips. I put it on before I go to bed and everything. It's like perfect. Then I made my own DIY lip scrub. So either buy a lip scrub or make one. And again, if you want a video on it, let me know in the comments down below. And an EOS lip balm. This one I also made by my own, and it looks like cotton candy, and it's great. Mwah, it feels so good. It doesn't leave a blue tint, not at all. Um, it's great, and it's so cute. Um, I also wrote some things on it, like, instead of the whole okay, okay thing from the Fall in Our Stars, I wrote smile, smile, so it's just a reminder for me, smile, cute little faces, and then I wrote hey Lou, which is the plural, I believe, version for hey you, I know it definitely means hey you, but my French is a little rusty, but yeah, it's a public version, I believe, so hey Lou, which is like my favorite saying ever, like hey you, like I think that's so cute, and I also just love the French language, that's my favorite phrase in France, France, in French, and so yeah, and also if you know Kaihu, uh, I believe it's how you pronounce it. I said it so many times before. I cannot say it now. She's a French YouTuber. I'll link her down below. She always says that in the beginning of her videos. <laughs> Another good thing is you want to invest in a good primer to really help that shadow or eyeliner or whatever you're wearing stick on. This is the Partner in Prime one from Hot Topic. I love it. And girls, just buy drugstore makeup. It honestly is the best. I have bought expensive products in the past and I really don't see a difference. Save your money, just buy drugstore products, like, they, Walmart has some good cosmetics. It sounds trashy, it sounds weird, but trust me, they do. You don't need to be spending $40 on a lipstick. Oh my god, my hands are full of nail polishes. Next, my favorite nail polish colors. This is my absolute favorite nail polish color in number 37, Summer Bikini by Broadway Nails. It is so beautiful. It's like a rosy gold champagne color. It's gorgeous. Then, of course, who doesn't love good black nail polish? I know I do. This is number 59, Blackout, also by Broadway Nails. And then a very vampy but beautiful and light brownish reddish tone color called Chocoholic, number 49, also from Broadway Nails. And, of course, you need an awesome gel top coat to finish your gorgeous nails off. This is number 55 top coat. And yeah, that was from Broadway Nails. Thank you guys for watching. If you like my videos in general, please subscribe to my channel, wherever that subscribe button is. Read the description down below for any qu comments, questions, concerns. Leave me a nice comment if you want. If you don't, if you don't that's okay too. In case you're wondering, the next video is going to be a back to school makeup tutorial that's grade appropriate for ages 6 through high school. And the only reason why I'm doing two videos today is because the next time I do a video, which would be Friday, it's actually going to be my giveaway video for my 16 subscribers and for back to school. And yes, that is hurtful. Like. <laughs> oh god, well, I... Anyway, thank you for sticking around for this 13 minutes and 57 seconds counting. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing school year. I love you so much. Please stay strong, my beautiful angels, and yeah.